Well, greetings once again, my fellow Star Trek fans. I got a little treat for you today. Um, recently, I was able to go through eBay, and I actually got something at the last minute. I didn't really expect to buy this, but I had seen the auction was ending, and, um, well, what made me buy it was it's still in its original packaging. So, this is the first time I ever show you guys anything even remotely like this. We're going to show you the Viewmaster, the Star Trek Viewmaster series. Um, it came out in the 60s. And they're centered around Star Trek, the original series. So let me show you the one that I had gotten. And the cool thing about this is it's still in its original packaging. I, I couldn't, I, I was ecstatic to see that it was still unopened. This is Viewmaster. 21 stereo pictures. You got three of the, the discs with the pictures. Seven photographs per disc. And don't worry, I will show you the photographs that are on the discs. Showtime, GAF. This is Star Trek, and you can see the Enterprise. And you can see the Exeter. And this particular one is from the episode, The Omega Glory. I'll show you guys the back. Viewmaster reels add the realism of stereo to a beauty of color to make pictures come to life. Each packet contains three seven scene reels or 21 full color three dimensional photographs. Star Trek The Omega Glory. And what I like about this, you can see 1968 Paramount Pictures. Enclosed order, order form for hundreds of titles, including U.S. picture tours, national parks, famous cities, classic children's stories, nations of the world, science and arts, Bible stories, TV favorites, and historical subjects. Gaff Corporation. Stereo Pictures Gaff Corporation, New York City, New York. And this is packet number B499. This is 16 page color illustrated book and also included. So the premise of the story, let's get the information on the back. The spaceship USS Enterprise, traveling at a speed factor, uh, speed faster than light, is commissioned to explore previously unknown worlds in our galaxy. The captain is James Kirk. And his first officer, Mr. Spock, from the planet Vulcan, who has extraordinary powers. Space surgeon is Dr. Lennon McCoy, who is searching space diseases. Homing in on a call from their sister ship, the USS Exeter, they find a, de a deserted ship and a crystallized remains of the crew. Beaming down to the planet Omega, they find the Exeter's captain, the mist of war for survival, not against the worrying combs and Merax, but against the unknown disease that makes the, them prisoners of the planet. So you guys remember it was Captain Ron Tracy who was in command of the USS Exeter. They go over, they investigate, and all that's left of the crew are empty uniforms and they have like a crystallized substance that's left. So they beam down and they find Ron Tracy, who eventually lets them know that the inhabitants of the planet are very, very, very old. And he, um, let's see, his name was Wu, I think, serving Ron Tracy. And he was telling him that his, he was over 400 years old and that his father was well over 1,000. Anyway, Ron Tracy wants to, he lets greed take over. He forgets about his oath to Starfleet. And what he wants is the secret of the Fountain of Youth so he can sell it. But what Dr. McCoy eventually discovers is that they're old because they're meant to be old. It's in their nature. So they have the differences. They have, let's see, the, the combs and the Merax. And they discover the, the parallel between Earth with the communists. And as a matter of fact, one of the combs that 
Captain Kirk gets caged with, they do end up working together, but gaining trust is an issue. And um, this, this is just a pretty cool episode. I like any episode where they show other starships. Um, the USS Exeter, she doesn't get destroyed, so I'm, what I'm thinking is eventually, after the episode and the mission is complete, they return to the Enterprise, and probably what ends up happening is they send a crew back to the Exeter um, to break orbit and get her back out and into the fleet. But this is the Viewmaster. Now what a Viewmaster is, it's this small device that you put these discs into. And each disc has a different subject. Like this one is Star Trek. Um, I remember as a kid they had, um, they had Happy Days. I think they had the Three Stooges. I don't remember if they had Space 1999. For some reason I want to say they did, but uh, I'm not positive. But you took them and you put them in these small little, well, they look like binoculars. And it was a slot where you put the disc in. And when you push it in, you look up to the light and the light coming through would illuminate and you would see the photograph that's on the disc. And in order to rotate the disc, there was a, a little lever on the side and when you pushed it down, it would rotate the disc. But I had this when I was a kid and I totally forgot about this and I was just looking on eBay for Star Trek things and this was an offshoot and it said ending soon and when I saw that it was totally unopened, I'm like, oh, that, that's a part of my childhood I'd like to relive. So this is the Viewmaster <clears throat> in Star Trek, the Omega Glory. And again, I'm going to put up the pictures that are on this because I want to show you guys. Um, but I don't want to open this. Plus, as of right now, I don't have a Viewmaster. <laughs> so even if I did... I wouldn't know how to get the photographs onto the computer from the uh, from the discs. So let's take a look at some of the pictures.
And that, my friends, is what is what is located on these discs that are inside. There were three of them for this series. Um, I think as a kid I had to Star Trek the motion picture one too. And I seem to remember more, but I'm not sure if there were more or not. But I do remember this one. So my friends, if you were curious about this Viewmaster Star Trek The Omega Glory little kit or set, I hope you enjoyed this short little video. And I'll see you again very soon.